Hi everyone, it's Bethany and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you an order that just came in from Expressions Vinyl and I am absolutely in love with it. I am so excited. So I'm going to share this with you because I actually find these types of videos really helpful myself when I'm getting ready to purchase um, certain materials. So I wanted to help you guys out as well because sometimes it's really helpful to actually see some of the materials um, other than like a thumbnail on the web on the website. And so I feel like these can be really helpful. Um, and so I have to preface this with about a month ago, I had to have emergency surgery during all of that's going on and it was really scary. But during my recovery, I was recovering for two weeks and as a mama of two toddlers, I never get time to myself anymore. And so during my recovery, I was given all of this free time because I was forced to rest and forced to slow down. And one of the things that I did was I did a lot of shopping. So um, it was really fun. But now a couple weeks later, or yeah, a couple weeks later after recovery, um, lots of boxes are now showing up on my doorstep. So I thought it'd be fun to do a few unboxings for you guys. Um, and I thought it would be really helpful because sometimes it's just super helpful to see some of these prints in person. So we are going to go through some HTV that I got, and then I'm going to go through some adhesive vinyl that I got. And I think you guys are going to love this. I, I am in love with a lot of these patterns. So many are my favorite. I'm not sure I can pick a favorite. Um, and I'm also going to share some other, um, supporting materials that I got that might be helpful to you as well that have been a favorite and some things that I am going to be trying new for the first time. So let's start with, let's start with some of the um, transfer tape. So I use this paper transfer tape religiously. I love it so much. So I went ahead and ordered myself another roll. I am about almost halfway through my other roll and my other roll I bought last summer. So I want to say, I am probably about nine months into my other role. So this lasts a long time, but since I was placing an order and I know that I am a tried true lover of this paper masking tape, um, I decided that I definitely need to just grab another roll. Also, I want to mention, I will link everything in the order that I mention it in the description box below. So if you need help finding any of these materials, be sure to click that little description box and open it up. There should be a little arrow button that you can drop down and then you will see everything in the order that I go through it in um, this tutorial. So um, this again is the paper transfer tape. I like this one. It's the six inch by 100 feet roll. I think that's right. Um, but I'll link it for you. It's really, really nice. And I use it religiously. I love it so much. Another thing that I decided to grab was I decided to try out some of their clear transfer tape. So I thought this would be really helpful. There are times when I really, um, would like something that is more clear. So I've been really interested in trying out their, their clear transfer tape. And I like that it has the grid lines on it because that becomes really helpful for me when I'm trying to align and center and straighten. So I will let you guys know how this turns out. Um, you guys will probably see this in a tutorial or two coming up. Um, I'm always interested in trying new things. So I'm really excited about this because it gives me a clear option as well. Okay, one thing I'm super excited about is I decided to get some printable HTV. So that is right here. So I got a few sheets. I want to say I got three or four. I got three three sheets of this principle HTV. So this is going to be really exciting. This is heat transfer vinyl that you can put through your printer and then you can put your design on it. Then you can use your machine to cut it out and then um, put it with a heat press on your material. So they come with a complete guide um, to, you know, how to get it printed and how to prep your project. And then it gives you some iron on settings with your heat press. Um, it does give you, it does say that the, it's recommended that you use a heat press and that, um, but it does give you some iron options and directions if you don't have a heat press. 
So I'm really, really excited about this. I'm happy that they gave me some step-by-step -step directions and I'm happy that we get to walk through this together in an upcoming tutorial because I've been really interested in getting some printable HTV and I think this is gonna be really, really fun and a really new fun little uh, material to use. So look out for that. If you guys haven't subscribed, if you are new and just peeking in on my channel today, be sure that you subscribe because there are gonna be so many fun things coming up with all these materials and I cannot wait to show you. I feel like my idea list just got a lot bigger now that um, my order came in. Okay, so let's go through the HTV first. I'm really excited. So I did get a few just um, solid colors. I got a navy. This is the Caesar Easy Weed um, navy or the Easy Weed navy. And I love navy. I think it is a really nice um, base that you can use and I also think that it's kind of a color that you should just kind of keep in your club your craft room because I believe it pairs well with so many things so I love this I grabbed a roll of that I also got a roll of their lilac which is very pretty I love this color and it's definitely fun for spring Another favorite of mine is the powder blue and I, whenever I place an order I usually get an order of the powder blue and I believe this is called the light pink Yes, the light pink. So I always get an order of this as well. I think it's super, super pretty and I end up using these a lot. So whenever I place an order, and some this is true for most people too, if you're gonna pay for shipping and you're going to do it anyway, um, usually kind of get your tried and true ones that you just love and just add them to cart whether you need them or not. <laughs> okay, so for some patterns, I'm really excited to show you guys these. There are some really pretty ones and the thing that I love about them is that they're just so different and fun. So I got a really pretty lilac. I think this is called, let's see, this one is plaid. Okay, so this one must be plaid too. So this is their lilac plaid. And if that's not the exact name, just check below and I will link it for you. I accidentally rolled it on the wrong side. Let me see if I can check it um, here. Oh, la I think it's lavender. It might be lavender. Okay, so this is the lavender plaid. How pretty is this? Let me unroll it for you. And I usually, if I do roll up my HTV or my vinyl, I just place a little piece of washi tape on it. I feel that um, regular scotch tape is way too strong. It usually leaves a residue on my material, so I stopped doing that because um, I was noticing a residue. But so far, the washi tape is amazing. So I do that just to kind of be able to see all of my materials quickly and easily. But this is their lavender um, plaid. It's a spring plaid. Isn't that pretty? I love this. This is so pretty. So I definitely found that I gravitated towards a few plaid colors for this um, order and I got a couple different um, options for myself because I just fell in love with this little pattern and design and I love plaid in general. So um, the next one I got was their pink plaid which is super, super pretty as well. You guys know this is no surprise to you that I got a uh, pale pink. It's so nice. And then another one that I got was, this has a little bit smaller of a checker on it, but this is the Buffalo Plaid Mustard color. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Um, I'm definitely gonna probably save this for fall. So I did get a few different seasons. Um, I actually tried to focus on summer and spring, but I tucked in a couple others because um, I was doing an order anyway, so I thought it would be helpful to grab everything I needed. So this is their buff Buffalo Plaid Mustard. Isn't this really pretty? The color's really, really pretty in person, and it's a true mustard color. So I think this is gonna be really pretty for fall, um, and I really am excited to try this one out. I think it's gonna, um, we just really add a pop of element to uh, the projects that I have in mind. So, okay, so that was that. And then the other one that I got was this spring plaid green. So it's a little bit more of a mint color and that's super pretty as well. I love that one. Okay, so in keeping in mind with Christmas too, I got a Christmas plaid and this is really pretty. It's a little bit of a smaller checker and it's got some nice light green and um, hunter green, some reds in it and white, and it's so pretty. 
in person it's super pretty too so I'm really excited for that I am really excited and honestly I've already started um, getting my Christmas ideas ready because I'm going to be doing a whole Christmas um, premiere thing for you guys and it's going to be really neat I don't want to say too much but I definitely have some Christmas uh, materials tucked away because it's going to be a really really fun um, series that I have coming up for you guys so um, then this one is pretty and I think I got this in the adhesive vinyl as well but this is the watercolor get ready this is so pretty in fact I kind of wish I would have gotten a couple rolls of this look how pretty this is it's so neat I love it so um, this is their watercolor one and then this does come in the HTV again all that we're going through first is HTV and then I believe I got it in the water or the um, the adhesive vinyl as well because it was just way too good so I'm really excited to do this one. I think this is going to be really fun. One thing I really like to do is I like to take a really simple um, SVG or a simple design and then pair it with a patterned um, HTV or a patterned vinyl. And then I think it's a really fun way to dress up just a small, like a really simple um, uh, cut file because it can be something that just really adds a little pop to it. So I am really excited for that. Okay, this one, this one I kind of uh, stepped out of my comfort zone with. Um, I'm not usually a huge leopard fan, but this is their floral leopard. And I thought it was super fun because you guys know I'm a floral fan. So florals, I am all in. Leopard makes me nervous sometimes, but together they look really neat. So I got a roll of this. Again, this is their floral leopard and I thought it was really fun. I love all the colors that are in this too. There's um, some teals, there's a couple different teals and some reds and some coral colors and some salmon. So it's really, really pretty. And I think that there are gonna be some fun projects to do with this. So I was really proud of myself. A lot of the things that I got are tried and true um, to, you know, Bethany and how I like, how I like to keep my color palette, but I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone on a few things to try out, which is always good for crafting to try new things. Okay, then I got some glitter and I need to reference my order sheet because I want to make sure I get these um, these names right because some of them are similar. So this one is the, let's see, this is a 9 by 12, I believe. I think all of them are 9 by 12. Let me open them up. This one's pretty. So this one is the 9 by 12 glitter and this is their white. It's really pretty. I like to keep a basic white glitter on hand because I feel like white in general is a color that I use a lot with HTV, but glitter white is super fun um, because you can just kind of make it just a little bit more interesting with a little subtle glitter. So I really like this one. Okay, the next one that I got was, let's see, this one, I think this one is the rose gold. Let me double check. Okay, yes, this one is the rose gold. How pretty is this? And then compared to the, you can kind of see how rose goldy it is when you compare it to this one right here. But this is really pretty. I'm really excited about this one. I love it. And you guys know, um, if you've even been on my channel for even a few minutes, you guys will know that glitter kind of makes me a tad nervous um, in general because I don't like mess but I do like glitter um, iron on. I think it's really fun. Um, so I think that this is going to be a really, really fun thing. It's just like a contained mess. So um, I got a roll of this. I thought it would be really, really sweet and fun. And it's a beautiful color. Okay. And then this is the next one that I want to show you. And this is, I believe they're flamingo pink so this is um again htv and it has a little bit of a smaller glitter to it but it's a really pretty pink how pretty is that i love that and you guys know that pink has to um be ordered by me i i can't not order pink color anything so i thought that was really pretty and then the last glitter that i got was um this one is called let's see what color is this is this the mint this is mint yes mint color how pretty is that this one's a little bit more like the rose gold in that it's kind of a more of a chunky glitter so it's a really really prominent glitter it's super pretty so that is going to be really fun as well so i hope that was kind of helpful to see some of these in person um again sometimes when i'm shopping using a thumbnail you know just our little previews 
um, on any website can just be a little bit intimidating because you're not really quite sure how it's really going to look on a big roll. So anyway, I thought this was going to be really helpful just to show you guys a little bit more, you know, by rolling some of them out, what they truly look like. Okay, so let's move on to the patterned adhesive vinyls. These are really, really pretty as well, and you're going to love it. Okay, so for the regular adhesive vinyl, I got a lot of different ones and I'm really excited. So this one, this one's called Blossom. This one's super pretty. I think this was one of the first prints that I fell in love with when I went on their website and then I kind of went down a rabbit hole, obviously, and then had to get all the things. So look how pretty this one is. Isn't that nice? I love that. Um, this is a really, really fun one. I love all the colors that are in there too. This is gonna work really pretty for spring, but also the colors are bold enough and bright enough that I think it's gonna transition really well into summer. So I think this is gonna be a really pretty um, vinyl that I'm probably gonna use over and over again. I can already tell that I am going to have some favorites that I'm gonna have to replace orders to because in person when I opened this um, order I just was gasping I was like oh my gosh I'm so glad I ordered that and oh I wish I would have ordered more of that so this will be really fun I love um, first time um, orders on on uh, prints because it's just so fun okay and then I got some stripes I, I love stripes Oops, this one came undone um, I love stripes so much I think they're so fun I got a couple different stripe patterns in this order um, and this first one has a lot of different colors in it so this one is actually um, handily called the colorful coral stripes and look how pretty this is it has some navies and some um, pinks teals greens and oranges and then a, a backer of a kind of a beige so it's super super pretty or a background of a beige I really like how this turned out and I like the kind of the sophisticated colors of it it has some you know bright colors but it's paired with a nice pink and a nice um, navy so it's a really just pretty color palette on there so that one will be really really pretty I love a stripe so I got another one um, the black and white stripe I'll, t I'll grab that one really quick I can see it right in here this is their black and white stripe, which will be really fun. So this is the Thin Stripes Black and White. Don't you think it's really handy how they have the names here too? They don't have it on all of them, but um, but when they do, it's really helpful. Isn't that pretty? I think that's going to be really fun. It's going to really pop too. So that's going to be a really, really neat um, look too. Okay, so then I got a couple different glitters as well. So this one, now these are 12 by 12 rolls, and this is their seafoam green, I believe. Again, I will link everything below for you guys, but this is the seafoam green color, and it is a very subtle glitter, but it the glitter is definitely there. It's super pretty. So I thought that would be really fun. Again, having a glitter um, print or texture is really nice because you can take a solid color and you can still use a solid color, but you can just add a little bit of pop and interest to it with a nice little subtle glitter. Okay, another glitter that I got, let me see, what color was this? This is... Okay, so these are really similar. So I'm having trouble telling them apart. I think this one is the rosy gold. And then I think this is the champagne. So again, they're super similar. This one has a chunkier glitter in it. So I think this one's the rose gold. Isn't that pretty? And then the next one, I believe this one's the champagne color. And this one has a little bit of um, almost a rainbow speckle in it too. So that one's really, really pretty. That'll be really fun. Okay, so those were super similar. I hope I got those right, but I'll try to double check on their website and, and see if I can tell a difference. But um, I love any type of gold color, especially um, in that glitter. I think it is really, really fun. So I grabbed a couple of those. No wonder I grabbed two kind of similar ones. Okay, now if you guys remember, I have done a couple tutorials with a shimmery, glittery white. I did a wine glass and I'll link that up here. And what was the other one I did? Did I do, oh, when I did the teacher cups, I think I did this as well. And I remember that I was saying that, I'm really sorry because I don't remember what color this is, but I think I found it. So this is um, the color I believe that I was using. And this is their, okay, so this is their glitter white vinyl. And so I think this is the what I was using in that um, other tutorial and on those other projects because I compared it, I put it up to the one that I currently have and it's um, 
essentially identical. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much identical. So um, if you guys loved that, I know it was so pretty. And in person, when you put this on a cup, um, it is so pretty. That wine glass I did was so, so pretty. So I really love this. I'm definitely going to order more of this because it's a really fun way. Um, I like to do white on glass cups or mugs because, or glass mugs because it really pops, especially when you get your pretty mocha-y colored coffee in there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, but this pairs really well. So this is a must have. I love it. Okay. So a few more and then we're done. I'm so sad, but this one is so fun. This is uh, called Medical Assistant. You guys, this is so cute. It has little um, band-aids and um, little medicine bottles and oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Little hearts and oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so I have a really fun idea for this coming up. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, so this, I have a specific idea of how I'm going to use this. And I thought this would be really, really pretty. So I'm really excited when I saw this and how it turned out in person, because it's going to go hand in hand with the idea that I have that will be coming to the channel soon. Okay. So it's like Christmas. My husband, um, we'll hear like the, the doorbell, like alarm thing go off and, um, <laughs> you just see like a delivery person in the distance. And it's, it's comical because I spent two weeks, um, you know, really recovering and having so much free time. And now I'm seeing the result of that daily on my doorstep. So it's been really, really fun, but my husband's been lovingly having as much fun as me as he watches this stuff arrive because, um, yeah, it was just a really kind of bittersweet time. So anyway, this is the vintage floral blue, and this is really, really fun. Look at this. So it has a really nice, pretty powdery blue background, and then it has some beautiful florals on it. How pretty is that? I love it so much. And they have a lot of different florals, I want to say, on their website. So be sure to go look. I am a lover of florals, so um, I was really excited to try out a couple of them in this order. And I'm really, really happy with how this vintage one turned out. It's super pretty. Okay, and then this is the repeat of the HTV. So this is that watercolor one. And this is their vinyl version of it. And it's just as beautiful as the HTV version. It's so pretty but just gives you another option for how you want to use it. So of course, HTV is for more material based things. And this is going to be for, um, you can put regular adhesive vinyl, um, on wood, you can do it on cups. Um, so this is going to be really fun. I wanted to make sure I had this option in bulk because it was just so neat with all these colors that I thought that I probably was going to have more ideas than material for this. So, okay. This was the haul. I'm so excited about it. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm really excited to start getting crafty with it. So lots of things are coming up. Um, I'm going to do fairly soon a easy press unboxing. I did purchase the largest easy press during the um, big cricket sale. So I am going to be unboxing that fairly soon. I'm also going to be, um, you guys have fallen in love with my floral decals that I have put on both my maker and then my Cricut Joy. So if you guys missed it, I did get the Explore Air 2. I'll link it up here if you guys want to see that unboxing. And if you want to see the bundle that came with that, it was amazing. Um, so I'll link that up there, but the Joy or not the Joy, the Explorer 2 is brand new and it doesn't have a pretty decal on it yet. So I know how much you guys love those floral decals. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial and you guys can watch me create a nice, pretty floral decal. That's pretty similar to this for my new Explorer too. So a lot of things coming up and it doesn't even need to be said that a lot of things are going to be coming up with all of this material. So if you guys are excited, then you guys make sure that you are all subscribed and ready to go. And then leave me a comment. Which one was your favorite? Which one do you really want to see? I, that would be a fun um, thing to know from you guys. What do you guys want to see first? What kind of materials are you just really anxious to see a project on? Because quite honestly, I'm having a little bit of difficulty deciding where to start because there are just way too many beautiful things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Again, stuff like this really helps me because I can really visually see it. So I will link everything below and I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and let me know how y'all are doing in the comment section. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video.